Perry here, and I am knowing you know, and I got something here for you. This is the new Illustrator CC that just came out a few days ago. This is right now about the 22nd of January. Uh, this came out this past week, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the cool thing about it is for Windows 8 and 8.1, it is now scaling for high DPI. This is what it looks like. It's nice and big, plenty of room for pins. Now the cool thing is, this is an older version, just to give you an example. Notice how small everything is. Now, very important, while I'm doing this, I am looking at this. at 150% larger. It reads that. If I set it smaller, you will not know. If it set it to 100%, it won't notice any difference. You have to set it to larger. So I uh, set it to larger, and it scales to 150%. Actually, it's my understanding I could scale it even larger, and it would be larger. But this is fine for me because uh, I did a hack with Configurator. And the buttons that I created for Photoshop and Configurator were exactly the size is what I ended up with. Now, this is the cool thing. Uh, if you look at this, this is uh, Illustrator CC. And if you look at this, this is CS6. Notice how much smaller. Photoshop, the uh, icons for the tools will be the same. It'll be smaller like this. However, there is a hack that's on SurfaceProArtist.com. And with the hack, you end up with this. Notice it's the same size as the new Illustrator. Nice. The only thing is it's slightly softer because it's scaling up a, a smaller DPI icon. Um, so the thing is, is this is good enough for me. Uh, it works fine. Uh, some people say that it will also scale up your art. Uh, that doesn't affect me much. Um, uh, to tell you the truth, I just want something basically like a sketchbook, uh, something that I can get work done. Out if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I can actually make changes. Uh, so this is absolutely perfect. Um, I uh, I was doing some st work with uh, Adobe Labs Configurator 4, which you can create your own buttons for. But to tell you the truth, you don't need to do this. You just apply the hack and uh, it works beautifully. So here is the Photoshop with the hack. Here is Illustrator without the hack and the Photoshop tool buttons will be the exact same size, very small. And this is the new Illustrator showing that it's the same size buttons as the hacked Photoshop buttons. So let's get into it, dive into it, and I'll show you how to do it real fast. All right, this is how you do the hack. Uh, gentlemen, under surfaceproartist.com, I'll give you the link on the website. Uh, right here, um, someone by the name of Luis uh, showed him how to do the hack, and uh, Surface Pro Artist uh, posted it. And other people tried it out and they loved it. I waited a little bit because I was in the middle of the configurator and I'll show you configurator a little bit later. But basically, you just need to go to surfaceproartist.com and follow his instructions. Now, uh, if you basically what you're doing is you're hacking the manifest on Windows and telling it to use an external manifest that says that um, Adobe can't, well, let him explain it. He can explain it better. But basically, what you're going to do is, according to the instructions, uh, you want uh, to prioritize an external manifest by setting up a new, uh, this registry key. This is the location where you need to do this. Uh, he gave a link to show you where to go. And uh, with the link, uh, it was around here. And you're looking for reg edit. Uh, so this is the link. I'll ha uh, have this link here also. But basically, you don't need to install the hotfix. You just need to create the prefer external manifest registry entry. entry. And basically, how you would do it on a Surface Pro is you would go over here to the side, hit search, and just type in regedit. R-E-G-E-D-I-T. That's it click regedit you say yes 
So you're looking for HKE local machine. Then you come down and you're looking for software. You're looking for Microsoft. And go down to Windows. Then current version. So there's current version right there. Uh, then you're looking for side by side. There's your side by side. Then it says on the edit menu, point to new. So edit, then new. And then click D word value. So basically D word value right there. You would click this and follow these instructions to type prefer external manifest and then print enter. I've already done it, prefer external manifest. And then right click and then modify and then it tells you to edit the D word value dialog box, click decimal under base and the volume data box, type one and then click OK. Just follow the instructions there. Once you have that done and you've done all the saving that you're supposed to do, uh, you don't need this anymore. Just follow the rest of his instructions here about creating a manifest file in Notepad and paste the text inside where this paste bin is. So if you click on the paste bin, you want to take this text here, the raw data paste, and you want to highlight it all, and then just copy, and then you want to paste it into a blank text. And then uh, basically save it in the same folder as a Photoshop XE file, which will be called um, photoshop.exe.manifest. And then you would basically save that and put it when you want it in the Photoshop execute file folder. So where that is, is you're going to go to Windows. You're going to go to Program Files, Adobe, Photoshop, and let's see where they keep Photoshop because Illustrator, they actually do it in a strange place. But Photoshop, right here, you can see where it's pasted in. And luckily, you know, with the first name, it's right there. So when you want the, the larger button, buttons, you just grab this, stick it in, and it'll probably ask, uh, are you sure you want to do this? You have to do it as an administrator. You just say yes. Um, and then when you want to pull it out because you don't want to use it, you want the normal size, very tiny icons and stuff like that, all you have to do is just pull this file out and put it on the desktop and uh, set and you know follow the prompts. It'll ask you, do you want to do this? You know, administrator, blah, blah, blah. So that's basically it. Um, you know, if you are nervous about getting into the guts of the programming, don't do it. But the thing is, is it's really simple. You just very carefully follow instructions and check and double check. Make sure you write it exactly the way it is. And it works beautifully. There's a slight softness because you're going using icons for a smaller system. Uh, and they're blowing them up, but you know what? It's good enough and it works. Uh, so, um, and you know, these screens are tiny. Every little bit helps.